exciting times loving people. Easter is right around the corner. I am, I am like super excited with what God's gonna do in this place, but it's not only for me to carry, to put in some notes, to put in a piece of paper and store it and put it in a vault and never look at it again, but it is time for me to share it with someone else. I need to let someone else know that God is real. I need to make someone else know that God can do something great in their life. So how do we do this? Maybe you saw Back to the Future and you're like, man, that would be so cool to get inside of a Back to the Future car and get it going and go visit my relatives or go see Jesus. You know what? We don't have to get in a car to go to the future. Or you invite someone to come to church with you, there's a possibility that their future is being taken care of. Do you know that eight out of 10 people that you ask to come to church will say yes? Eight out of 10 people. So if you've been waiting all year and you're just waiting for one day to invite someone, you know what? That Easter service is a great start. A lot of people already know that you go to church because of the great testimony that you have. And for some of you, maybe you don't have a good testimony. So fix it up before Easter. It's our responsibility to let people know that there is hope, that there is life, and that there's somewhere that they can go, that they can find something greater than what they're finding on the streets. Let's make Jesus famous. Let's make Jesus even bigger in this Easter so that people really know what Easter is truly about. But the only way that they will hear of Jesus is by what we say, by what we speak, by how we act, by what we do. You make the decision that this Easter will just be a fairy tale or it'll be a reality. What you gonna do?